Oh my. Okay, so is, it, is it on me? Yeah. Is it on me? Hey guys. Um, this is a beautiful thing. And um, my instructions is to have a little fun. And uh, if you guys got some questions, great. But before I, I give you any questions, I'll give you something to, to think about. How cool is what we're doing? This doesn't happen. It, this doesn't happen in any other city or with any other, any other group, but this group here, the Raiders. I, I mean, I've done, I live in New Jersey, Giants, Jets, Little League. They can't even imagine doing something like this, bringing guys back. I saw the uh, thing where it said, who's invited? Everybody. How cool is that? Huh? Everybody. I love it. This guy's in there. The guy we got in a guy in there is 80 years old. I feel young, man. I'm feeling young this weekend. So anyway, it's very fun. It's very special. The Davis family. They're the, they're the most greatest football family in the world, and the greatest family to uh, to pull off something like this and keep us all together as we are. Well, the Davis family is the Raider family, and that's how Al used to talk about it and I loved him for that and Mark is keeping the tradition and I and what what him doing this is just wonderful so I'm all excited I came in from New Jersey and uh, I couldn't wait to get here and now I can't wait to get back in there and tell more lies to all our guys it's just everybody that the stories have grown so I walked in last night and saw Gus Otto and Dan Connors. Now, does anybody know why I love those two guys? Anybody know? So you're all too young. <laughs> Gus Otto played right linebacker. Dan Connors played the middle, and I played the left. And guess what? I had no clue how to play NFL football. And those two guys taught me, and we kicked some butt. And I love them, and, I, and we haven't been together since 1972. How crazy is that? But because uh, because of Alumni Weekend, we're together, and, I, and that, that firing me up, man. And then I got to see guys like Gary Weaver, Randy McClanahan. You guys don't know about them either. They were the guys that came after me that I taught. And then Jeff Barnes and Rod, Rod Martin, we're all here, we got more linebackers in there than anything. That's the way it ought to be, because the linebackers were very, very tight. Did the Bills ever do anything like this for you guys? No, no, I, I, I know everybody. I played four years in Buffalo. I had a really great time. You know, the, the, the Bills did a couple cool things. You know, they, they started that ring of honor, you know, where they honored their guys. Um, and it was fun, but no, I don't think there's another team in the NFL who does anything like this, even understands. And, you know, that the fun thing about this is, you know, when you come be a Raider, you, you, you change. You start thinking like a Raider. And, you, and as crazy as this may sound, you kind of would expect the Raiders to do this, even though it's totally, you know, uh, something they shouldn't have to do but because you, they, they talk family and they talk friendship and they talk you know if you come back here you know coach Groot as soon as he got his job Phil you're, you're in I'm in what I don't know what I'm in but I'm in and I love that and that's the way it, it is in here and now there, there's no other teams matter of fact when I was playing for the Raiders and I got drafted here and I had didn't even understand what Raider football was about Lyle Alzado Phil, how could you tell Hal Davis I want to be a Raider? You know, everybody called me. They want to be, I want to be Raiders because the Raiders are special in the NFL. And through all of these years where we haven't won, man, I, I, you know, our fans, like you showed that this morning, all those fans, I love those guys. And uh, they're all here and they're all waiting for a big year. And I got a feeling bringing Coach Gruden back. Reggie McKenzie filling the spots. 
I'm looking around the field this morning. I was looking for some, uh, you know, we got to get Mac in here, of course, which I'm sure they're going to figure that out because where's he going to go? Where can you go that's better than this or Vegas? <laughs> yeah, baby. So anyway, I, this team is this team is set, poised. Can you win it this year? You know, cause you, you got a new coach. It's hard. You got, you know, but has to buy in early, quickly. I like the way he worked this morning. Make up three hours, man. That's good. You get, you need more hours together so they understand what John is saying. And I saw John talking to uh, Derek every play, every play, right? That's good. I like that kind of stuff. So anyway. I, no, the answer to your question is no, <laughs> nobody does that. But the Raiders do that. No, we talked, to, we talked on the phone a couple of years ago when the Raiders uh, owners voted to approve Las Vegas. And you initially were not thrilled about it because you thought the Raiders belonged in Oakland. But that, now that it's kind of sunk in, have you reconciled the fact that you know, you're a Raider, doesn't matter where you are? Or how much you, <laughs> what do you think about the Vegas now? Yeah, you know, I, do you know why I got traded to Buffalo? For Bob Chandler. So there's about 24 of us playing golf. We come in, the pro from the country club comes outside and says, you guys are moving to Vegas. I mean, you're moving to Los Angeles. And I said, what? And Gene Upshaw standing there and I said, Uppy, what's going on? He says, Davis is on TV right now. You guys are moving. Nobody knew about it. So Dave Dalby has a little barbecue that night. And we go from the golf course to the barbecue. We had a few beers at the golf course, then we get to the barbecue. A few more beers. And the Oakland Tribune decides to give us a call. I think I was the last guy to get on. I don't know what I said. I can't remember what I said. But all I know, the headline was, Villa Piano won't go. I really didn't say that. I do whatever the Raiders do. But that was the headline. And Mr. Davis never said a word about it until the year they're going to move. And Philip, he made sure Villapiano won't go. <laughs> so, <laughs> and in, back in those days, it the two worst teams to get traded to, Green Bay and Buffalo. <laughs> so he sent me to Buffalo. And uh, anyway, so, hey man, I'm not gonna do that again. I love going to Las Vegas. You know, I, 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 was, I had a real problem with, and I mean, I love Oakland. I thought Oakland could stay in Oakland, but we gotta, gotta, gotta build a stadium. Yeah. I mean, I went to get a beer last year at the football game. I couldn't even get down the there's, the hallways only five feet wide. I mean, come on, we gotta get a we gotta get a stadium, you know. And, and I didn't realize in this, and I'm sure you guys all do, but you know, there's some free agents out there that are pretty cool, pretty good players. But you don't want to come to that stadium. You want to go, you want to go to a beautiful stadium. That it helps, you know. You want to do this. This helps, you know. Are you kidding me? This is a country club. And that practice this morning, that was practice? John Madden would turn over, man. John Madden couldn't come watch that. I didn't hear a thud. One guy backed into another guy, and they both fell. That's the, that's the only hit I saw all morning. But that's the way it is nowadays. So things have changed. You can go to Vegas, and you cannot hit anybody and play football. How do you not hit anybody and play football? I would ask you that question. Are you kidding? I used to come out of here. When you go to training camp, you get totally bruised, and then your body gets excited, and then it doesn't bruise anymore. These guys, are getting, how can you get bruised doing that? It's okay. The whole league, it's a collective bargaining agreement. We don't hit anymore. We don't get a concussion anymore. A good concussion every once in a while is fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go around, go around, not know where you're at for a few that few hours. That's that's kind of cool. All right, who else we got? <laughs> a, couple of, a couple of guys that can't make it to a night we can say um, maybe Tatum and Snake. Um, can you share maybe one of your favorite stories on or off the field by one of, one of those guys? Oh, I'll give you a Jack Tatum. Play right behind me. Jack Tatum, when, you know, well, first of all, I used to tell Jack, please don't hit me, hit the other team. Because he would come up and just clean up. And the way he hit was, it was, the way he hit was just different. 
It's like you're golfing and you hit the drive right in the middle of the club. Daryl Monica's over there. Daryl is a great golfer. He knows what it feels like to hit the drive in the middle of the club. Right, Daryl? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> what Jack Tatum hit, it sounded like that. There was a sound. A it was different. Than a golf club. Yeah. Whoop! So, Tate, whoop! Oh my God, you know it's Tate. Now, George Atkinson would come up and slap somebody, but Tate would annihilate you. Tate, my buddy. I guess. All right, get Daryl Lamont. And, oh, we got, we got, am I done? You're done. No, not yet, not quite. Am I not done? Not quite, not quite. I'm just, but... getting, I'm just getting started, man. <laughs> you, you guys got anything else? Okay, okay. All right, you want, you want number three. All right, you guys, Daryl and Monica. My first day in Oakland, right? I come to I come to training camp last. It's like where I played in a Chicago All Star game. I come to training camp a month late because we had to play against the Baltimore Colts. This beautiful Italian guy over here. I'm going onto the field, and he says, "Welcome, Paisan." At this time, Bob Brown is hitting these goalposts, not steel goalposts. They were these little two by fours that used to stick up in here. And Bob Brown was bum bum. Ba -ba, ba boom and he hits it and the thing cracks Daryl cracks he looks at me and goes that's gonna be you in about 15 minutes Paisan that's it I'm gone thanks Bill thanks Bill alright baby